Morning, Gracie. Morning, Tom. Is Jasper around? I haven't seen him. Did you know he's been following people around and taking their picture? He took my picture yesterday. Benjamin Lodog Tortellini said that Jasper chased him for four blocks. And he caught me in the laundromat. You know, if I never see that camera again, it'll be too soon. Sounds like his new job is working out. It's not a job, Gracie. It's an obsession. And it's not healthy. Relax. Have some coffee. It's on me. Free coffee? That's right. Gracie... Why would you give me a free cup of... Well, Tom! Yeah! Jasper! Whoa, Tom, you spilled your free cup of coffee all over your shirt. I'll take a couple of 8 by 10 glossies of that shot. I told you hiding behind the counter was a good idea. Jasper, I'm going to take that camera. Tom, 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 Watch Tom. the tables! Give me that camera! Watch out for the cash register! Come here, friendly bear. And I just waxed the floor. Whoa! Boy, you know, for an old guy, Tom runs pretty good. Did you get a shot of him sliding into that cash register? Boy, he almost had me over by the Molson sign. Is he okay? He didn't hit the floor that hard. He's probably just out of breath. Whoa! Did you tell Tom about your new idea? I was just going to do that when he started chasing me. Jasper, if you take one more picture of me, I'm going to ring... I won't have time, Tom. I'm going to be too busy. Too busy? He might even give up the radio show. I figure I'll be a millionaire in about a year. More coffee? You want to chase me around the cafe a few more times so I can stay in shape? Before you two go off on another run... Who's paying for the coffee? Well, I'm not. There's fair, Tom. I paid for the film. And you did get the first cup free. All right. All right. Jasper, look. I'm your friend, right? Well, you did chase me around the cafe. And, and as your friend, I'm telling you that no one likes paparazzi. And they don't make any money. Oh, contraire. Tell Tom about your new idea. Tom. Do you know why some actors are big movie stars and some actors are not? Talent? (laughs) (laughs) Tom hasn't been to the movies lately. No, Tom, it's not talent. It's public perception. Public perception? If the public thinks you're a star, then you are. And who do you think the public depends on to tell them who is a star and who isn't? Paparazzi? You want to know how? No. Tell them anyway. Okay. Let's say I was walking down Young Street in Toronto and I bumped into Susan Aglukark coming out of the store and just then a herd of paparazzi came around the corner. Whom would they chase? Well, probably Susan Aglukark. So, it stands to reason that whomever paparazzi chase is a star. Yeah, but that's... Post hoc ergo proctor hoc. Well said, Gracie. Jasper, haven't we already had our little discussion about post hoc ergo proctor hoc? But what happens to the really good actors who don't get chased by paparazzi? How about I start the show? From Blossom, Alberta, it's the Dead Dog Cafe Comedy Hour. They wind up doing bit parts in B-movies. With your host, Jasper Friendly Bear. Where they get shot and killed in the opening scene. And Gracie Heavy Hand. The more fortunate ones get to play trees on kids' shows. And of course, me, Tom King. The less fortunate ones wind up opening trade shows. So, Tom, who are our guests today? In Dome Football Stadium. No idea, Jasper, but the blackout bingo number is... B-8! Until at last, they have to swallow the last vestiges of pride and are reduced to doing infomercials for exercise equipment on late-night television. Are you two done? But, Tom, you haven't heard my idea yet. I've already started the show. Jasper doesn't mind sharing. Uh, make it quick. Tom, the point is that famous stars are famous because paparazzi chase them around and photograph everything they do. Which means the famous stars hardly need another paparazzi chasing them around. Exactly. That's why I'm going to take pictures of not very famous personalities. Listen up, Tom. Jasper's new idea borders on better than average. Jasper, who in the world is going to pay you to chase unknown or over-the-hill actors around and take pictures of them? The unknown and over-the-hill actors. What? I guess chasing you around has limited the supply of oxygen to Tom's brain. Here's how it works, Tom. 
Imagine you're a talented actor whose career is on the skids. The talented part is a little hard to imagine. You hire me, and I chase you around in public with my camera yelling things like, It's Tom King, the famous actor! And, Look this way, Tom! And, Loved your last film. You know, stuff like that. Jasper. And the whole time, Jasper is sticking his camera in your face and blinding you with a flash. Gracie. And after I've really annoyed you, you can take a swing at me and get arrested. Of course, that's extra. Jasper. Who are our guests? Ian Roth. The playwright? He won the Governor General's Award for Drama. Well, that's impressive. How'd you talk Ian Ross into being on the show? I promised not to take his picture. Jasper can be very persuasive when he sets his mind to it. But first, it's time for 10 Reasons Why It's Good to Have Indians in Canada. Where are we? Reason number four. Right, right. Reason number four, why it's good to have Indians in Canada. (laughs) If we didn't have Indians in Canada, New Age spiritualists wouldn't have anything to sell. Do you think these things up yourself? Most of them, but this one comes from one of our listeners. One of our listeners sent this in? A Tom Kane who says he's from Toronto and sometimes from Victoria. Is that one of your relations, Tom? What do you mean? Tom Kane, Tom King? No, the, the last names are completely different. Tom Kane, Tom King? They sound pretty close. We just have the same first name. So you have to figure that it's more than just a coincidence. While we're rooting around in the mailbag, do we have anyone who needs an authentic Indian name? Here's a letter from Laura Donifer. Dear Jasper, Gracie, and of course, Tom. Well, now that Peter and Morningside are gone, I have you three to look forward to. Who's Peter? Who's Morningside? Just read the letter. I'm a self-employed artist, and I have lots of red hair. So maybe you could send me an authentic Indian name. What kind of art does she do? Doesn't say. Maybe she'd like to see the photograph I took of Tom spilling coffee on his shirt. I doubt it. Doesn't have any fine art potential. My camera is my art. Jasper, a paparazzi artist, is an oxymoron. Is that better or worse than a regular moron? Looks like it's time to spin those wheels. Hi, Laura Donifer. Here comes your authentic Indian name. Tom, what's the first name? Uh, the first name is Scarlet. The second name is Quivering. And the last name is Elbows. Scarlet Quivering Elbows. Hey, Tom, how about taking a picture of Gracie and me standing by the wheels? Sure. Give me the camera. Okay, here. Now be careful not to drop it. Sure. Whoops, it slipped. It's okay. These new cameras are tough. No harm done. Darn. So, Laura Donifer, your new authentic Indian name is Scarlet Quivering Elbows. And don't forget to send us a story of your most interesting encounter with an Indian. Scarlet Quivering Elbows. Stay with us, Tom. It's time to talk with Ian Ross. Hello? Hey, is this uh, Ian Ross, the writer? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Jasper Friendly Bear. Hi. You heard of me? Good to talk to you. Well, of course. So I guess uh, you know this is the Dead Dog Cafe. uh, Oh, yeah. And uh, now this section of our show is called What Else Do You Do? This is where we interview famous Indian celebrities and we find out what else they do when they're not being famous. So you want to know what else I do? Yeah, like uh, besides your writing, we all know you're a very great and well-known writer. Oh, well, thank you. Well, uh, I don't do too many exciting things. I uh, I watch a lot of TV. Oh, <laughs> oh so do we. Sleep. <laughs> you sleep? Yeah, I love to sleep. Oh, and, yeah? And uh, uh, eat. I like to go to restaurants. <laughs> What's your favorite food? It depends, I guess, on my mood. <laughs> hey, so uh, what's your mood now? My, my mood for food? Uh, you know what? It's probably... Uh, a grilled cheese with corned beef. Wow, that, that means you must be in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> I, Ian, um, like other famous personalities, I imagine you have a lot of problem with the paparazzi, like chasing you when you're on holidays, like in Switzerland, yeah, whatever. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> no, I, that hasn't happened to me yet. Uh, oh. uh, but um, the mailman stopped me the other day, and he said he 
wanted to meet me, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. which was kind of strange because he actually crossed the street to do it. He was on the other side, and he came over and he said uh, he said he wanted to meet me, which was really humbling. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. It was nice, though. You, you won the Governor General's Award for Drama, uh, and I think you're the first Native person to, to do that. How's that changed your life? Well, uh, well, they give you a nice little check, little check, <laughs> a oh. big check. Uh, they they give you ten grand when you win. So, oh, uh, that's one nice thing. Is now I I kind of uh, I can pick what I want to eat. <laughs> yeah. So what's your what's your play Bologna about? It's about uh, child yeah. poverty and what this little guy eats for lunch every day, and uh, he sort of comes to it. Realization that he has more choices than he thinks he does. Is it uh, is it like autobiographical? Yeah, yeah, and uh, there's a rabbit in it, and the rabbit dies. And <laughs> yeah. They go they go and try and get help for this rabbit, and nobody helps them. And uh, that sort of comes from me. I had a little dog, and uh, we had no money, so I took the dog to the vet. I said, "Can you look at my dog? She's sick." And uh, I said, "I pay. I'll pay you back when." Uh, I get money, and they said no. So my dog died about a week after that. <laughs> and uh, I yeah. kind of, well, I guess I'm getting them back now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Ian. Okay. You go back to bed now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Boy, another great interview. How do we do it? And just in time for another episode of Fireside Friendly Bear where I sit in a cabin on a snowy evening and read a selection from a great Canadian literary work. You all set to hit the wall, Tom? We need to talk about this. Cue the fire! Tom, open the door! (laughs) You really think I'm stupid enough to open the door just so you can get a picture of me being blown against the back wall? What was the question? Look, how about if we don't cue the blazing fire and we don't open the door... And you just read a section of the report. Without the sound effects? It won't work. Well, why not? Because, according to our market survey, our listeners don't tune in to listen to Jasper read the report of the Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples. What market survey? That's right, Tom. What they want to hear is you hitting the back wall. Eight out of ten of the listeners surveyed said that hearing your body hitting sheet rock is their favorite part of the show. It is? I'm just a setup guy, Tom. You're the star. I am? Absolutely. Really? Cue the blazing fire. Tom, open the door. So sit back and relax. Clear your mind and pretend for a moment that you're better off than you really are. Which recommendation are we reading today? What about recommendation 2.3.2? That's one of my favorites. The commission recommends that all governments in Canada recognize that Aboriginal peoples are nations vested with the right of self-determination. How'd I do? You are great. It really sounded like you got hurt. You think maybe I should yell a little louder while I'm in the air? Did you remember to duck your head and roll? Yeah, but whoops. Sounds like we've run out of time again. Next week, our guest will be Phil Fontaine. The head of the Assembly of First Nations? If we can find his phone number. What if we can't? He won't be on the show. In the meantime, this is Jasper Friendly Bear. And Gracie Heavyhand. And Tom King saying... So long long for for now. now. And don't forget, stay calm. Be brave. Wait for the signs. More coffee? Yeah. You bet. You bet. Great. Well, back to taking pictures. Jasper, you know, overhead costs in the photography business can be pretty steep. Not really. Well, that camera you've got is not cheap. It doesn't work. And he doesn't need any film. What? You're not paying for pictures, Tom. You're just paying for me to chase you around. Jasper? Yes? Jasper? What? You mean to tell me you're chasing me around with a broken camera with no film in it? Yes. Image is everything, Tom. (laughs) 